Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hendricks. Um, I'm a clinical psychology graduate student at the University of Notre Dame and I'm presenting at APS. Um, I'm interested in how self-compassion uh, buffers against the negative impact, emotional and physiological impacts of stress. So to get at this question, we um, randomly assign people to experimental and control condition. In our experimental condition, uh, subjects um, delivered a persuasive speech to a panel of trained judges. In our control condition, they wrote an unjudged essay. And we measured self-compassion post-stress, and we also measured um, negative affect and cortisol at pre- and post-stress time points. Um, what we found was that people who are high on the trait of self-compassion um, experience less negative affect than people who are low on the trait of self-compassion in response to a social evaluative stressor. We also found that there was no association between cortisol and self-compassion. So in other words, people who were self-compassionate um, you know, were still able to mount um, uh, the energy and the physiological processes in order to um, meet the demands of the situation. So given what we know about um, the relationship between negative affect, stress, and psychopathology, self-compassion may represent um, an important protective factor against the uh, development of disorders such as depression and anxiety. Um, future directions might include the development of an intervention um, to increase the measure of the trait of self-compassion um, and see if we can improve this trait in uh, people who are at risk for depression and anxiety.